Hello viewers, in this video we'll be going over natural gas. In this video we'll be going over day-by-day -day probability for UNG and we'll also go for the forecast model for natural gas as well. So back to the technical analysis, today we are down 47 basis points on the 1-hour chart. We were approaching to pause on MACD, however we see a divergence on the 1-hour MACD. We're losing support. If we expand out on the 4-hour chart, we saw a convergence overnight between Sunday and Monday. Overall, there's still downward pressure and is a bit concerning because we have not reached over sold RSIs, meaning we could head down even lower from where we are right now. As for support, I do see the 9-day moving average acting as our resistance if we were to reverse reason why we see there's a price concentration around that level and past support since we're below that support level that now acts as our immediate resistance so that will be our resistance which is around two dollars and eighteen dollars actually two dollars and eighteen cents as for support the next possible support we expand out to multi-year, or I should say last year in August, and the next support will be around $2.07, reason why that was past support back in last year. So if we were to move up higher or reverse, that price movement is roughly around 2.9% to the upside, and to the downside, it is roughly 2.3% to the downside. So back to the day-by-day -day probability model. On here, we'll see where natural gas would most likely head to. This is for the ETF ticker symbol, UNG. So what we have here throughout the day, we have a price tight concentration between the one standard deviation down and one standard deviation up between 3% down and 3% up. There are some extreme cases where we see 6% down or 3% down throughout half of the week and then right towards the end of the week we see an extreme case right here up between 3 to 6% on the seventh day or in one week overall there's a tight concentration or in favor of 3% down and 3% up not much leaning in one side or the other and let's head to the forecast model below again this forecast model is now available in the link below so do check it out so we have one day out, one day out two days out three days out four days out five days out six days out and seven days out so which one of these models we should focus on ideally the model that is the best match to the current trend right here we have the current trend and below is the trend that i believe is the best match this trend dates back to November 23rd, 2016 to February 22nd, 2017. So let me point out why these two charts are similar. So what we have here in the beginning of the trend, we start off slightly below the middle Bollinger Band. And then we proceeded to break and touch the upper Bollinger Band at this instance. Next, we see price continue to decline at this instance where we are right now. Overall, we see these three points. As for the trend below, we see it start off below the middle Bollinger Band, right at this instance. After that, we see it try to break out, touch the upper Bollinger Band, not quite. After that, we see it break down to average below the middle Bollinger Band at this instance similar to the trend that we see in the current trend. So what we have is one, two, three points. We also have one, two, three points. So there is reason to believe that the trends and patterns are the same. The outcome and forecast should be fairly the same. So the model that we just examined was November 23rd, 2016 to February 22nd, 2017. Back then, Natural gas or UNG was up around 3.9%. That 3.9% coincides with the day by day probability model on the extreme case. Again, it's only 
one fifth of the chance, but majority of the possibility for natural gas is between these two standard deviation, three percent down and three percent up. We only have a twenty percent chance of that happening, where we are up three to six per three to six percent in the next coming days. And this is how I found found a model. I just compared compared it to the current trend, overlapping it with the 2016 trend. So again, this forecast model is now available in the link below, so do check it out. If you enjoy this content, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching.